Aquarius, we're going to be doing your 11th house in astrology. Granted, you might not have Aquarius in your 11th house on your personal birth chart. Um, your planets will obviously either be there or not be there as well, but that's how you get the information through ast astrology. Astrology is interly uh, woven with uh, tarot, uh, or intimately woven, int intimately interwoven, maybe I could say, um, with tarot. Uh, but you get the gist of it. Um, so I'm going to try to go through all the signs and all the houses. I'm trying to develop a technique where I could just kind of go with the flow and it not be stagnant. So uh, this is my crack at it. Guys, if you want a one-on-one -on -one reading, my rate is $2 a minute. I do readings through chat, IM, messenger, social media, text. Uh, I think I said email, phone, video, whatever you feel most comfortable with. All my info is in the website link below. Um, let's try to get some overall messages. This is being recorded July 16th, 2021, but I like to put a timeless stamp on all my videos. So when you are called to view them, feel free to apply them accordingly. They will still, um, obviously, if they resonate with you, uh, be able to help you. Um, so we are talking about the 11th house in astrology. Uh, groups, friends, social awareness, humanitarianism, technology, hopes and wishes, for the future. Right now we have Jupiter in Pisces, um, excuse me, uh, Saturn in Aquarius, I meant to refer to. Jupiter in Pisces really has nothing to do with this. Um, Saturn in Aquarius, we're doing Aquarius, so um, we might look at Uranus as well since the ruling planet of the 11th house is Uranus. So Saturn is in Aquarius until 2023. Uh, March 7th, 2023 to be specific, Saturn is about restriction, limitations, boundaries, lessons, uh, and in the sector of Aquarius, it's going to have to do again with groups, friends, social awareness, humanitarianism, technology, hopes, wishes, the future. So I'm going to pull a card for each of those words and see if you could kind of um, glean some, some uh, applicable insight. We could also look at Uranus and Taurus. Uh, until 2025. Uranus is again the ruling planet of that 11th sector uh, having to do with shock and awe. Surprises, it being in Taurus means that you might just have some shock and awe and surprises in money, work, income, daily routines, values, material possessions, priorities, habits, your job, and work ethic. When I go and read for that sector, the second house for Aquarius, feel free to go and watch that. Um, okay, let's jump right into it. Let's see what wants to come out for groups for uh, Aquarius. Let's see what energies want to come out in the tarot for groups. Again, when you view this, feel free to apply it. Guys, feel free to like, share, follow, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. It really helps the channel here and across all social media platforms. Instagram, TikTok, all that jazz. Uh, running gun tarot across all social media. Um... Let's see who wants to come up for the word groups. 11th house, Aquarius. For your Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever on your planetary chart, feel free to apply. Obviously, if you have Aquarius in your 11th house, feel free to apply. Uh, or if you don't, and you're just an Aquarius, feel free to apply. Um, let's see. The tower in the upright. This is cataclysm, disaster, calamity. This is the lightning of God striking the crown of the ego. It doesn't obviously have to be that desperate and dramatic, um, but the tower represents a pre-existing uh, structure um, that is going to get some sort of sudden uprooting. Uh, these yads are blessings. These are Yiddish symbols, Hebrew symbols, whatever you want to call it. Uh, their blessings uh, from God or a higher power, or the universe, or the higher self, whatever you believe in. The tower is powered by Aries and Scorpio, uh, ruling planet Mars. Okay, let me pause this. I got an incoming call. I'm going to do this as part one and then part two. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was able to pick up where I last left off. Aquarius reading, we jumped into the tower card in regards to groups, so there might be some sudden disruption abruption, uprooting, if abruption is a word, but it will be for the higher good. Uh, you know, the negative interpretation or connotation is what it is. You know, the ego being knocked off and having to reassemble and rebuild with the raw materials is what the tower uh, represents. This time a more kind of fortified structure, long and enduring. Think of the pyramids, things like that. Um, 
But I guess the good news is that, you know, we're not our egos. We're not our flawed personalities. So there's always that love. There's always that unconditional heart and freedom behind any external extracurricular drama that, uh, you know, it's all play at the end of the day. It's all fun and play. And if you take it too serious, then, you know, free yourself from that. So that's what's coming up for groups, Aquarius. For friends, we have, let's see. And then we're going to try to weave together a narrative with these cards as well, if possible. For friends, we have the Devil card. Your, your friends might be keeping you chained up or your path not lit forward with the torch being pointed downward. It's meant to keep you in the dark and meant to keep you kind of feeding them. They might be vampires uh, in a negative way that's keeping you from your higher path and soul purpose. So just make sure that you're not feeding uh, you know, these entities or beings that are, you know, beings of the dark, so to speak. Um, as far as social awareness, Aquarius, 11th house, let's see. Okay, maybe you have a limited or blind eye to social awareness. Maybe this is kind of intact with the devil card in the upright. This will need to come down. This is divine intervention. You know, the higher vibra uh, vibrational energy, God's blessings, the yods, that's going to strike down this kind of chained pillar by hook or crook so it's like you could either go peacefully or uh you know if you keep on this path and not to fear monger but you know you might you might uh get struck out by uh you know zeus's uh, lightning bolt so to speak um so try to increase your social awareness the good thing about this is that this person could rub up against any one of these swords and free themselves so don't play possum don't play stuck uh don't play small in regards to social awareness, it could help you on your path. Um, I'm getting an incoming call, so let me pause this.